Hello, I'm Sam Deans. I'm a student at the University of Cambridge and I've been here at the John Innes Centre in Norwich for the last eight weeks um, as one of 15 students on the International Summit School and I really love plant science. John Innes has quite a particular reputation for putting out a lot of papers and for being a kind of high impact place. Everyone here has been really friendly on all the postdocs and PhD students and the senior scientists I've come across have um, all been really welcoming and really willing to teach me a lot of stuff which has been very necessary. Um, so this summer we've been given um, projects to do um, and mine has revolved a lot around cloning so it's been a real learning curve, um, the sort of project and um, the process of it. I mean, after this, I'm going back for my final year at university. Um, I've got some more lab time, and hopefully, I'm going to be able to get quite a lot more done because I've got some experience. Um, and then after that, I'm hoping to go on to do um, a PhD in plant sciences. So, outside of the um, projects, there's also um, training on Fridays in that you mix with the other students who are on the course, also with the PhD students who teach you and um, some of the quite senior people come along too, um, like notably Rico Cohen. So among the students too, there's um, quite a good and quite diverse mix of people. We've got, I think, 50-50 uh, male-female split and people from all sorts of different countries around the world and it's been really a really good experience to live with everybody because you know you hang out you get to know each other and you become friends which I'm very glad that I came on a course like this sort of personally and kind of scientifically you get quite a lot of different perspectives which I think is something that um, is in fact more general at the JIC um, the lab that I'm in um, speaks two, two languages to work in English and Mandarin and I think that Quite a lot of the um, people in the JRC come from all over the world, so it's a really great international community to be a part of, which I think personally is, is really exciting. I'm Susie Pierce. Um, I've just done my second year at University of Bristol. I'm Catherine Bailey, and I go to UEA and I study biological sciences. Uh, I'm Amelia, I study at Edinburgh University. I'm doing my undergraduate degree there and I'm a third year student. I'm Chris, I'm from Liverpool. Um, I've been studying biomedical science at the Uni of York for the past three years now. So this is obviously a bit of a jump into the unknown because it's plant science. And I wanted to um, have some more experience in a research environment because um, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a master's and potentially a PhD. Um, so yeah, thinking about a career in science basically and I thought this looked like a really good um, way of getting experience in a lab. But um, I was just looking for paid internships and I saw this one and obviously it's in a different area that interested me and probably not something that I was likely to pursue afterwards. Like if, if I saw a lecture about plant science, I would be like, oh god, I don't want to learn this. But I've definitely learned to appreciate how important it is. What made me really want to sign up was just how nice it sounded. So like going on a retreat, socials, workshops, it just sounded really good in that sense. I found out about the summer school through two of my friends who actually went last year and they came back with very positive feedback and uh, really, really encouraged me to apply. Both of them, they were like, damn, you should go to the summer school. If a pathogen's killing the food source of millions of people, then it's putting their lives in jeopardy in the same way a human disease would. And so I've learned to like appreciate that importance. Probably like the way research is conducted, so the amount of organisation that's like required to um, conduct research. Like you can't just plough into research and not think about what you're doing and what you've got planned next. Like it's a lot of organisation needed, and I. This is what struck me the most when I was in a lab because yeah, I need to work on that. I would really dwell well into this area and come prepared, start my first from my first day. 
start knowing what I'm going to be working on. Um, you'll have a great um, eight weeks and um, you'll learn a lot and just be very um, open with what you're about to learn. Keep an open mind. You might decide you, this is not for you, but that's okay. This might push you into another direction. It's been just really nice and everyone's just so welcoming and like the lab that I'm in was so lovely to me and like all the socials that they arranged me and they just really included me in their little circle and I've just had such a nice time. And yeah, it's just it's a really friendly environment and everyone's lovely. This internship has really helped me decide whether I want to do research or just not go into science whatsoever. And after doing this internship, I really want to do research now. So it's been a really positive experience for me. And I want to come back actually, I've decided I want to come back to John Innes, maybe do a Masters. <laughs>